Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report, and today we're on the set of Rosewood. We're going to be talking to the entire cast all about season two. Yeah. So Latoya, first of all, congratulations on joining Rosewood for how many episodes are you going to be doing? A few. Yeah, oh, yeah I don't know if we could give a number, to, but you know, she's in here this season two. I'm so excited. <laughs> so how did this project come about for you? I went and auditioned, um, and it, we had a great chemistry read, uh, me and Mr. Chestnut. And it just, it felt like a great room. The, the producers, uh, were really excited. The writers, directors were really excited. And I just gave my best in the room, like I do with every audition. But this one, when I walked out, I felt really good about it. I felt really, really good about it. So what is it about this character that you love the best? I love how, how optimistic she is, especially in the world that we live in today. And I know this is kind of make believe, uh, you know, make believe world, but at the same time, um, I feel that I learn from each character that I play, and so I've learned from, you know, Tanya that even regardless of what life throws you, regardless of the challenges that you might face in life, it's all about your attitude about it, um, and, and Toya is learning from Tanya uh, <laughs> when it comes to that, and, um, and, and she's, she's a great person, she's a mother, um, she's a hard working lady. She, she, she's a waitress. She's doing what she can to, to provide for her, her daughter, uh, Kayla, who is a sweetheart. Um, and now she's, she's found a little bit of love Ooh. in Rosie. Hey. Oh, so are we, you'll be playing part of his love interest then? You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> I get to give tight hooks. That's it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be looking forward to maybe a little bit of tension between you and Detective Via, right? I mean, you know, you would have to look catfight in our plan. She's, and she's such a sweetheart too, but I'm, I'm sure they feel a way about each other. That's awesome. So let me ask you, you know, you said you had like an amazing audition. You felt it, you know, you were there. Yeah. Um, how, how did you prepare for this role? You know what? I think the key to with any audition is one, once you know the lines and really get the lines down, then you become the person and you, you don't, don't put yourself in a box with it. Just try different things. And I wanted to relate to her. I wanted to relate to her. Um, so I just tried it a couple of different ways. And the one that I felt the best about and, you know, like, wait a minute, this is her. That's who I went in the room with. So I, uh, I definitely, I just studied. I just made sure that the hard part was over, which was all of the lines. And it was so many lines, y'all. Even the writers were in there. The producers were like, hey, yo, you had a lot of lines. How did you do that? Aww. And I was like, you know what? I don't know. But once I'm in there and I'm in it, it just flows out. That's awesome. And at least now they know that you can handle all these lines. So there I you can go. Handle You're it. like, no, bring Blaine. me more. Keep me on longer. Well, right? Y'all ain't got to give me. No, my lot, no, Blair. Um, but they, it's, it's great writing for the show. It's great writing on the show. So, uh, I'm, I'm excited. Awesome. I really am. Um, is there anything else that you're working on besides Rosewood right now? Uh, I know for the past six years, my lovely fans have been like, where's the album? You keep saying you're going to put out an album. You said you were going to put it out three years ago. Now it's been six. What's going on? <laughs> so the album is in its final stages, um, and we're ready to go. We're ready to go. That's all I'll say. I'm not going to give no dates and no times because, trust me, my fans hold me to it, and there'll be all of my comments on Instagram and Twitter like, you had said that on the 27th of this month, and, you know, so I, all I'll say is it's coming soon, but for real, for real this time. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe <clears throat> what kind of songs we can expect, what kind of styles, who influenced you, anything like um, that? Um, you know what? It's, it's still R&B. Mm -hmm. I love R&B. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm, I'm a totally different woman than I was six years ago. So it's talking about, you know, my life experience, my life experiences. I also feel like oh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit more open. On this one, I'm, I'm speaking my mind. Even the parts where I feel like, you know, in those situations where you're scared to speak up about something, I'm definitely speaking up about it. Um, and so I, I, I'm holding this one close to my heart. I really am. That's awesome. I cannot wait to hear, especially since you're speaking your mind about things. I think that's always what makes the, the best content, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You got to be honest and open so people can relate to you. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Latoya. I cannot thank you. wait to hear your music and watch you on Rosewood, too. Thank so lots you. of great things happening for you. I appreciate thank you so much it. For to us. Thank you for your time. Hey, nice meeting you. You too. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. And in the comments below, let me know what you're most excited about for season two.